right, let's talk about gearing in FF14. Now I've raided in FF14 for about eight months now. Did completely finish the last tier, but in terms of Endwalker, I feel like I have enough personal experience to talk about this. And it's interesting. I wasn't actually aware that a sizable part of the community had a problem with gearing until recently. I myself think that gearing overall, it's it's very solid. It's not particularly exciting, but it's fairly linear and being guaranteed gear is nice. But forum posts like this one, that really had me agreeing that gearing could definitely use some work in this game. So let's talk about it. Firstly, I think it's important to bring up that this isn't an issue for most of the players in the game. This is really just me guessing, but how many players do you think actually prog Savage content? FF14 is a big game with a lot of casual, friendly content to do outside of raiding, so my guess is not as much as some people might think. Keep in mind, I have no way of knowing for sure. I have no data to support this. It's just more or less my instincts. But in a game that's so huge, maybe something like gearing isn't on their priority list. Just Food for thought. So the first big change that I see the most is to increase the tome cap. Right now it's sitting at 450, which for many is way too low. It takes about eight weeks to get best in slot, which I agree way too long. And a game that constantly reminds you that you can play any job, I agree that the tome cap should be increased. Now by how much? Well, I'm a little afraid to throw a number, but maybe bump it up a few hundred. How much tome gear and which pieces you really need depend on the job you're playing, but allowing you to acquire at least two tome pieces per reset could go a long way. Another thing I see brought up is some other way to obtain gear. The only two methods to obtain the highest level of gear right now is through tomes and raids. And I mostly agree, people like to point at Criterion Dungeons as something that could use gear reward. The way I see the current variation of Criterion Dungeons, at least the one we have, is that it's something to do after Savage. With the current difficulty of ass, it seems that's the intent, at least in my opinion. But if they did want to add a gear reward in the future, I wouldn't be completely opposed to it. I definitely wouldn't want the average raider to feel obligated to do Criterion Dungeons. I know a lot of players like me tend to enjoy raid logging, like we'll do our weekly stuff like hitting the Tome Cat, but anything outside of that might be a bit too much for us. So it's certainly one option. It's not my favorite. It's PvE. You know, dungeons and raids, they complement each other pretty well, so it makes sense. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but that's more of a me problem. Another thing I see in personal experience is that gearing isn't exciting. Nothing I get really changes the way I play, and there are a lot of irrelevant stats. Now I could say something like bring in tier sets, but that would create a whole other system to balance. So I'm not entirely sure what the dev team can do to make gearing more exciting without compromising balance. It's a really tough spot to be in. One thought I had is to make gear at least more cosmetically appealing, which is something I think they nailed in Abyssos, but Asphalotus did not look great. Maybe try adding more job specific sets or just make the armor more glowy. I don't know. It's, this one's a bit more, uh, this one's a bit more subjective. And uh, lastly, I've heard the idea of a role specific tomes or raid books thrown around, and I cannot remember where this idea originated. So forgive me, this isn't actually my idea, but basically you get rewarded for the role you're playing. So tank, healer, DPS. If you want to, you can throw on magical and physical range if you want to. But the idea is that those tomes and books can only be collected when playing those roles and can only be spent on those roles. In practice, I have no idea how it will play out, but in concept, I love it. This would encourage players to play other jobs and get rid of the trap feeling a lot of players have when gearing, at least again, in concept. It would add a lot of replay value and encourage players to branch out and experiment more. In the current system, the job with the highest item level is usually prioritized because you can only gear up one job at a time, so if your job sucks or you just don't like it, well, you're out of luck. But with the idea of role specific tomes and books, you can branch out more. And you know what? That's gonna do it, folks. Overall, gearing's still solid, but what do you think of gearing right now? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and uh, take care.